Hey Neapolo fans, Neapolitan gal here. I figured I would at least get some Saturday giveaways um, under my belt today. I have two cooking videos for you. I'm going to upload basically around the same time. Um, so by 5.30 when I actually need to be leaving my condo to go to dinner. Um, you should have two cooking videos. One teaching you how to make homemade macaroni and cheese. And the other is how to make bilo sauce. You know what? Actually, I'm going to hold those for tomorrow because I did promise the recipes for both. And I definitely won't have time to get the recipes up plus uh, do this video. So I will hold those two videos for tomorrow. I'll get them uploaded um, as early in the day as possible. So um, let's try some giveaways, shall we? Now, these are the Saturday giveaways. Um, I actually started working on the giveaways earlier, and I just ran out of time. So, no big deal. Um, so, today there's 188 pages. There are, um, oh, 4,498 giveaways going. Let's see if we can win some stuff. Um, now, typically, I would do the giveaways that are right here. Um, I actually have a few that I've bookmarked previously and I want to go ahead and get those under my belt. So let's get those under my belt. Uh, I don't have many uh, bookmarked. I've been you know, getting other stuff done this week and just really haven't had the time. I actually have been wanting to take my um, laptop to work with me and um, do this during lunch, but it just never seems to be enough time anymore. Anybody ever find that to be the true, you know, to be the case with you as well? Um, I thought I bookmarked that twice the other day, and I guess I did. Um, just seems like some days there just isn't a, aren't enough hours in the day, um, and uh, that's been what I have found the last couple of weeks. It just doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day to get stuff done that I need and want to get done. Um, I was always you know, stopping at the grocery store after work, doing things for other people, which I don't mind doing, but sometimes you got to watch out for number one. And um, that's what I'm finding these days is just that I am not allowing myself enough time I have nothing in my follow folder, which means I haven't bookmarked any um, books. And I've only got a couple of videos that I've bookmarked. What I did was I, I used to go through and make um, bookmark um, folders. And what I would do is I would mark them one through whatever, however many bookmark folders I ended up needing. I have actually decided a few days ago to, rather than doing that, is I am doing um, folders based on, I think I might put this in the wrong day, no, based on whether um, there are no requirements, follow, or videos. Um, now I did notice earlier that my, <laughs> some of my no requirements and some of my video folders are quite full but um I wanted to try that and see you know see what um, what came up of it um, and I know a lot of you are wondering that my videos why do, Donna why do you scroll up I scroll up <clears throat> because if I do win um, I don't want to post my home address. Okay, so um, let's get rid of that folder. Now my Saturday folder actually has um, next Saturday stuff in it now. Uh, so let's scroll to the bottom. This is the page I actually bookmarked because I got just got tired of bookmarking stuff. There's a lot of pages worth of stuff today and it just doesn't seem to be enough time to do it. Um, so let's click on giveaways over here. Let's scroll all the way down. And I know page 188 didn't have anything interesting. Page 187 had some of these glasses and things. So let's try a few of these out. Um, I'm not going for any of the book stuff. 
I have a huge library of books um, of hard and paperback books, and I'm just not really interested in ebooks. Um, I love audiobooks now. Audiobooks and I, we are good friends. I've listened to so many audiobooks over the last several years. It's incredible the number I really have listened to. Um, I have one full. Um, I have one full bookcase of nothing but audiobooks of books that I have listened through listened to through audiobooks. Um, and then um, I have two other bookcases just full of books people have given me over the years. I used to run a shipping store in the north side of our town and um, I had all kinds of books here. And a lot of books I just was, really wasn't interested in keeping. So what I did was, oh, you know, I could probably sell them at the store. So I took them to the store to sell them. Well, rich people in this town who are purging <laughs> tend to latch on to people who are also trying to do the same thing. And, oh, will you take book donations? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? And then all of a sudden, I went from a half of a bookcase, because there was a bookcase in our bathroom, it just sort of was in the way, so I went from a half of a bookcase to a full bookcase, and then there was another bookcase in the back that wasn't being used for anything, and I ended up filling up that one. <laughs> and when I finally quit, it was like, oh my word, I... <laughs> I had no idea there were this many books and you know you see them and you feel them and you rearrange them. I try to keep them rearranged as much as possible. You just don't realize honestly what is there until you have to start boxing them, boxing them up and taking them home. And all of a sudden I'm like I've got boxes of books sitting around. I need to do something with these books. So what did I do? I went out and bought a bookshelf to match the bookshelf that I already had here and then a friend of the family actually I'm going to her house for dinner tonight um, uh, her and my mom both lost their places during Irma and so she had a bookcase it was a corner bookcase that she gave me so we started with that corner bookcase and worked our way down and what basically has happened is I've got in my dining room I've got you know the wall comes together like this I've got a corner bookcase here and then coming out from that is are my other two, um, what do you call them, cappuccino covered, colored um, bookcases, and then a smaller metal bookcase. And they're all lined up in my dining room. Now, you know, if, if you're familiar with condos, you know condos really don't have a whole lot of room to begin with. So you do you do what you can with what you've got, and that that goes for everything. Um, I am actually, um, really been wanting to list those books on online for sale. Um, so I might, uh, might have to start doing that to get rid of some of them. Um, I actually used those bookcases, uh, last Christmas for my Christmas village. So instead of having the books sort of forward, I pushed them all back and lined them up and then covered them in the sheets of fake snow and had my um, my village in front of it. And it actually turned out quite nice. Um, I'll have to post pictures sometimes of it. But um, it was it was rather cool. So hmm, this doesn't say Kindle version, so... Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so I might do that this year. I've actually have been trying to, you know, post online in places that I, for the most part, trust. You know, like uh, Nextdoor, the app called Nextdoor, and let some of my neighbors come in and take a look at books. Um, I was trying to get a what do they call it? a tiny library started where you know I would set maybe a cabinet small portable cabinet downstairs which I we actually use something sent like that 
for our shoes when you first come into our condo and um, it's on wheels and I actually considered putting that down um, downstairs and letting um, people take books and put books in and see that that would work um, but now that it's rainy season there's, there's just no way we could do something like that right now um, and I try to do like the community yard sales that we have at some of our parks but you know so many people are just getting away from books and they only want to give you you know a small bit for your books if you don't have anything else really to sell I mean you pay I think my last yard sale I did you know you pay ten dollars for a parking spot quite literally you have to set your table or whatever it is you bring up in that parking spot and um, I mean you could rent more than one but then you have to hope that you know you make it up I mean, ten bucks isn't a whole lot but the whole point of being there really is to get rid of stuff um, and to make some money so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do any more of those um, this time of year they really don't have them because it is just it really is just entirely too hot this time of year um, for those you know, a lot of our parks have um, have covered parking but um, but not really covered parking and I really wish we did do it in something like that but we're just too busy of a, of a town but they you know a lot of our parks have um, you know, trees and stuff to hang over but not all of them and not everybody is willing to come out in that kind of weather um, if I knew that I could make up the money I might actually consider doing um, like one of our local flea markets on the weekends which you get a couple of days but again books are really a niche market anymore um, they're a dying breed I hear even some textbook companies are moving away from actual textbooks and going completely online my son's high school very few of his classes even have textbooks anymore it's all online you know um, they submit their work online everything so but it's you know books are becoming antiques and it, it, it's terrible to say that really excuse my movement around here um, it's really terrible to say and truly understand the fact that books are becoming antiques um, nobody wants them you could donate them to bookstores and stuff like that and yeah they might um, oops, I already clicked on that one they might be able to sell them but again they're going to sell them for 50 cents or so I mean it's not even hardly worth their time shelving them let alone selling them so I've got to find out oh, sorry I got something in my eye I've got to figure out what I want to do with them um, I mean do you allow strangers to come in your house and pick books say hey just take them um, do you spend hours on end scanning barcodes just to list them on like uh, eBay and uh, Amazon and hope you sell them um, these phone cases are nice they do have a 360 protection my son's got one the only real drawback is that his blocks his microphone so we've actually got to drill it out which is going to make it not so waterproof at that point but um, they're really nice sturdy heavy you know, phone case um, those are the complaints those complaints with the sound I didn't see until um, after it was on its way to us and then he started having the trouble with this with you know the microphone on it like well gee <laughs> I wouldn't have bought it you know I kept seeing them come up in these giveaways I'm like okay I gotta buy one finally got a decided to buy him one and um, the great thing with these giveaways is they do give a lot of them give you that percentage about 95 until 95% of them do, do give you a percentage off um, if you don't win. So even if you don't win, you can go buy from their um, go buy from their store 
and I go from there. Um, Well, it's like our thunderstorm's about done. I have to go hop in the shower here shortly and get ready to go. So let me know what you guys think about my cooking videos. Um, I would be really interested to know what um, what you think. If you want to see more cooking videos, let me know. If you want to see more of these. Let me know if you want to see something else. Let me know. Um, because I am... I'm willing to do some other things. Um, let's see here. I think I'll make this my last one. This is um, going to be right at 16 minutes. And um, I've got stuff to do. So y'all have a great Saturday. Uh, I'm Neapolo Ga Neapolitan Gal, you're in my Neapolitan fans, and it is 20 to 5 on Saturday afternoon. Have a great evening, guys.